Have a good one. Have a good day. My name is Keith Jones, and I'm the principal here at Chase Middle School. I'm very involved and very hands-on. You know, my approach is it starts in the morning when we greet every kid as they come through the door. I am a community person. I'm, I am out and about, but also I, I love to be in the classroom. The history of, of finding out about space, because we've had to spend money and people have had to lose their lives. Do you think it's worth it? My vision is for us to be, one, the best middle school in Topeka. The avid students have their college that they want to go to on their locker. Just say, hey, like we're an avid student, this is the college we want to go to later in the future. AVID stands for Advancement Via Individual Determination. And it's a class to help students who are in the middle, who really want to go to college, but maybe they've never had anybody that's been to college in their family. They've never really even thought it was an opportunity. It teaches them the skills required to reach their goals of going to college. We have AVID at 6th, 7th, and 8th, and we're the only school in the school district that offers it at every grade level. When I started here, we had one class of AVID. We've grown to three classes of AVID. We've gone to school-wide AVID now, where we use AVID strategies throughout the building. We're in the 7th and 8th grade AVID classroom. Right now, they're doing a TRF. It's a question and a subject that they have trouble on. So like you can get like a better understanding of that question, which can help you like bring your grade up. Our students now carry binders, and it used to be just the AVID students carried binders, but now it's school-wide. Every student takes Cornell notes. Every teacher has been instructed on how to use Cornell notes. I came into Chase and I was very unorganized. I had my papers everywhere, and AVID kind of taught me how to take my stuff and keep it together. AVID helps you a lot, especially in our binder checks, since they're really strict on our notes. We have to highlight and revise. And sometimes when you're highlighting and revising and doing your homework for AVID, you're actually technically studying for your other classes. Through AVID, my goal is to help every kid to be the most successful they can and have an opportunity to go to college. These kids come from backgrounds where college is not an emphasis. We are 93% free or reduced lunch. We have a lot of students, they are Spanish speaking. We have a very diverse population here at Chase. I will say we're right around 85% students of color here. What I've learned with our demographic of kids, before we can teach math and English and history, we gotta know who they are. We gotta know their story. Sometimes our kids, the only attention they get is when they're here at Chase. I know sometimes we've been having a lot of tough conversations with you guys about maybe what you're not doing well and what you need to improve in, but we want to start today on a positive note. So we're gonna start with Mikey. I want you to list one positive in the week so far. We can look at our school rosters and see just an absence of male presence in the home, uh, whether that be a father or a father figure. Keith, my principal, asked a few of the staff members, guys, to get involved with a male mentoring group. Um, the goal is to to take guys and just really invest and pour into their lives, uh, give them guidance to make them go from young men to men. We have about 25 guys we meet every week just to, to bond, to have some time with other guys and just invest in them uh, to help prepare them for what life is really like uh, to be leaders. One of the great things about Chase is that we have some resources that we can tap into to help us carry out our vision. We partner with KU Gear Up. Gear Up is actually an acronym and it stands for gaining early awareness and readiness for undergraduate programs. So our goal is to adopt a cohort of students and then support those students through to high school graduation and into college. We sat down in the summer and met, mapped out a plan and a vision for what we wanted to school. And I think we have about done 95% of the things that we said we were going to do starting out. And the first thing was there was not an after school program in place. We have something called Chase Academy where like you can go and like do homework and stuff and like learn that and get with your teachers to help you get a better understanding. It happens Monday after school to like 4.30, Wednesday on the same time, and then every other Saturday. The goals of Chase Academy are to get students focused on their academics and to make that a priority in their lives. We've really made a push for homework in the building because we have high expectations for our students. Being strong in academics is what's going to help them be high school ready. Chase Academy has been a lifesaver for us. It goes along with our intervention process of trying to get to tier two and tier three interventions. And an intervention, it's finding a different mode of 
teaching so that that student accesses that. During intervention time, students report to whatever class that they're behind grade-wise, work-wise. Students regularly receive about 90 minutes of language arts, but if we're putting them in an intervention, we're going to give them, in addition to those 90 minutes of language arts, somewhere from 25 to 43, maybe even another 90 minutes if you're in our um, after school program. The best thing I've seen in the partnership between Chase and Gear Up has been students starting off not really thinking they're going to be able to make it to college, some of them be able to thinking that they're going to make it to, through high school, to changing. I've had students go to KU, go to other college campuses, and say that they are going to be there in a few more years and that their goal is now to get to college and they believe they can get there. With KU a Gear Up support, we're able to have a summer program. We're going to have a two-week summer boot camp where it focuses on reading and math and writing, along with some sports camps where we are teaching the fundamentals, as well as having a performing arts camp as well. In the middle school system, several years back, we changed up and went a little bit more competitive. Our kids have to meet the expectations they must maintain during the season. They have to have a C average in every single class in order to participate in the games. Our kids have responded by being better students in the classroom. The team usually takes on the personality of the coach. I'm a go-getter. You know, I have high expectations. Being from a low-income area or uh, being a minority is not a, an excuse not to be successful. Giving these kids the skills to be successful is what I'm passionate about. It's really important for these kids to have good teachers that care about them. We have an amazing staff here that really cares about the kids and doing the best thing for the kids. I teach here because I have a passion for students who don't have it the easiest in life. I like that I teach at a school where they need me. What's special about Chase students is that we get the opportunity to help them find what they're strong at and how they can be successful in life. I think that Chase students, when they come here, they're looking for some encouragement, they're looking for some love, and they're looking for somebody to believe in them. Knowing that you're planting the seed that has a, a lifelong impact is what this business is about. I really look forward to what the years to come here at Chase really look like. We have redefined what it means to be a cougar. Cool